Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Taka, and it's time for a Thrift Find and Rummage Sale Finds video haul. And so it is doing this on Friday because I work Saturday and Sunday this weekend and it there's no time for rummage sales tomorrow for sure because I'm going to be 9 to 5 for sure tomorrow because we combined all the Monday clients so we're not there on Labor Day into Saturday and Sunday so it's going to be insane. Alright, so I went to Goodwill earlier this week. And I found another one of these, which obviously was at the same sale as the one I found last week. So I grabbed it for the same $2 price. It's an Inesco. It's not glued on to the trivet anymore, so I'll have to glue them both. The other one I found was the, the copper. This one looks like it's a cuckoo clock and says, Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. So that's as close as to religious as I get. And then I think the only other thing I got from Goodwill was, for $2, this Siamese cat figurine. And uh, it definitely feels vintage old. There's bits of crazing under the glaze, but no real markings. And the worst damage it has is a little paint loss on its tail. It's still smooth, though. And I went to Gwyn... And I didn't find anything of this and that, and St. Vinny's was very low. So I ended up picking up three of these McDonald's rodeo glasses from Houston. It's the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Uh, Coke. <laughs> they were a little more expensive. Usually I spent a dollar glass, they were dollar fifty, but I really wasn't finding anything. And then I also picked this up for ninety-five cents because it looked very kitschy. It says handcrafted in China by HZ. I paid a whole 95 cents, but it that way my whole trip wasn't worth nothing. Um, this morning's first rummage sale, I found another Royal Albert teacup set. This one is June, which I have not sold my other June one yet. So of course, I'll wait till this one. I paid up a little compared to when I bought the lot of them. This one was three dollars, but since that one, you, the last two solds are like 35 and 40 I was willing to risk it. This one's a little dustier than the last one I got, so it just needs some cleaning, but it's not chipped or cracked. And of course, I won't list that till the other one sells. And then, this is going to be so short compared to last week. And then I went to one way over in Scandia, and she had some cool vintage stuff. So, I paid two for this duck which I think is blue mountain pottery by that glaze but also because it's that red wear bottom and a lot of their pieces like mostly Canadian blue mountain I believe is Canadian company would have had a sticker and there just feel like there was a sticker on this at some point but I figured I could risk him for two and at the same sale for a whole 50 cents very cute, made in Japan, little cats. And I do think these are Siamese with the eyes like that. So I kind of had a Siamese theme for the week. But uh, similar ones have like 15 to $20 comps online, which I definitely couldn't check comps where I was. We couldn't even get a cell phone signal, let alone internet, where we were. So... And then the other cool thing I've got at that sale for $2 was this Patience the Cat. And I liked that it still had its little bird up on his tail. And if you don't recognize it, it is a Jim Shore piece. Uh, it's from 2006. Um, and I believe the solds are anywhere between 15 and 25 right now. Uh, especially if mine doesn't have the box, it'd probably be on the lower end. But... I kind of didn't have a cat theme this week. And then, there were only like four rummage sales today. One to one, and it was a $10 bag sale, but all the guy loved was holiday stuff. Now, anything that's a plush, I might spray with some Febreze, because apparently his wife really loved her perfume and candles. <clears throat> 
thankfully I had my mask on for COVID safety. And so that helped block the smell. So I had enough time to uh, search the stuff. So for $10, I got a cute Anesco little bunny in a bucket. None of his friends were there. This is 1987. And I got a cherished teddy bear Newton ringing in the new year. And a Holly Hobby bell-shaped hot pad. I don't think you'd only hang it and not use it. But it's very cute. Has both a dog and a cat on it. And I grabbed this ornament, although I do think it's way too heavy for a freaking tree. I'm sure it's going to be closer to four or five ounces than one ounce. But it's a teddy bear with a doll, but I grabbed it because it said Kurt S. Adler on it, and I tend to do well with Adler ornaments. These are what got me started with the bag to begin with. Anna Lee Thanksgiving Day Mice, with their original price tags from 2012 still on them, saying they are 25 bucks. So we have Pilgrim Girl Mouse and Pilgrim Boy Mouse, so he's got his cute little rifle, but figured I'd sell those as a set. And this was my last throw-in thing. I have a few more items to show, but this was that thing I threw in at the last second because I was already paying and might as well. These kind of vintage looking elf on the shelf things, they are made to sit on the shelf. I, I can't find marks on them yet, so I can't tell if they're really vintage or made from vintage stuff or what. I also seem to have gotten a bunch of these hi-ho bells, like little ornaments and Santa that were in the bottom of this box that I didn't even know about. And then the one Valentine's Day thing I grabbed. He has a number 33 on the back of his head. He still has my To My Valentine. It's kind of got this marching hat kind of theme going and he is still marked with his napco made in japan so i thought that was cute and then these turkey salt and pepper shakers a tom and a what is, what is a female turkey called hmm i have not been playing trivia in a very long time now but these say made in Japan. Ugh, I can't quite make it out. But you can still make out made in Japan. And then I got these two cute bunnies that are meant to go together like this. They are called Snuggle Babies. And they are from 1988 by River Shore. Um, so I thought those were adorable. They're a little snuggling set. And then last, but certainly not least, a glass angel bell. Sadly, no. Even though this appears to be custard glass, it is not uranium custard glass. I checked with my UV light. But this is a hand-painted, numbered Fenton angel. And I know it's Fenton, even though there's no Fenton sticker, is one... The mark is F1674 out of 1800. The F is for Fenton, but also it's hand-painted by J. Cutshaw, who, if you look it up online, is one of the Fenton artists for painting. Um, so this looks like it's uh, definitely Christmas-themed with poinsettias on it. And so far, the comparables I found are at least $20, at least, plus shipping. And I'm sure it's not going to be light to ship. <laughs> it is a little heavy. But I figured she made the whole bag worth it. But even those Anna Lee dolls made the whole bag worth it just to start it. So this was a cool find. So much shorter haul this week. But less days rummage selling as well. Um, again, thank you for watching. I'll put my Etsy and eBay stores down below. I am having a Labor Day sale on my Etsy store, and anyone who favorites anything on eBay will get an automatic offer. Uh, as soon as I see it, I'll automatically give you an offer. Because I am trying to clear out some inventory, because with those 70 or so items I bought last week, 
I am running out of room in my basement storage area, so I need to sell some more stuff. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.